Right guys, Mark Crossfield here in my hands today, Mizuno JPX 850 irons. We're going to give these irons a hit. They've got these funny cutaway soles. We've got um, frame faces or something. The faces are springy and dooby dooby do. All these clubs nowadays are just, uh, they're going for it, aren't they? Let's give the JPX 850 from Mizuno a hit and see if it's any good. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, Mizuno JPX 850, we get a chrome looking head, we get this uh, relieved sole, dual relief sole I think they're calling it, where you get this kind of cutaway bit at the back, um, which for people who are thinking of turf interaction, how chunky the soles of some of these more game improvement clubs get, that's going to help them and their ideas. Um, it's a cavity back dime with an undercut cavity, it's got a speed frame face or frame face, it's basically the face is the face is built to bounce and uh, kind of rebound a little bit more across the face, Mizuno is saying. So there's lots of talk of that with other manufacturers at the minute. So everyone's going for the who can make the easiest club to hit in the world bracket now while still keeping some maybe classic designs, which this one kind of definitely tries to hang on to. Um, five, seven and uh, wet nine here. You get longer blade lengths in the longer irons down to shorter blade lengths, so shorter heads in the shorter irons, which is quite appealing. Not that much offset on these, which is going to appeal to lots of people, with a medium to thicker top line. Definitely plenty of club face down by the ball. So we're going to give them a hit, see what they feel like. We've got GC2 HMT ammo type, there's probably one ball, so we've got some real numbers coming at you as well. So look, when I put it down by the ball, it's definitely the less offset, it looks good, the less offset looks nice. The chrome's gonna appeal to the classic kind of, people who want that more classic look. I use the Easies in this set, which are darker. This is going back, and I'm actually quite liking the look of that actually, while still getting that kind of, um, kind of game improvement across the board as well, like the Easies offer. Um, but I think this one's gonna cross over for people who do want a bit of help, but some classical designs. And it's definitely built to help you from the weighting to the face. Let's give it a hit, see what it feels like. Okay, it feels quite nice. Interesting sound off the face. I didn't hit that one that brilliant. Let's give that another go. I was expecting a bigger sound and it was actually a slightly truer sound, which maybe the sets are going for. Let's give it another hit. Yeah, it's an interesting sound off the face. It does sound like Something is going on with that face, you know, so it doesn't sound maybe quite so like a solid hunk of metal. It does sound like there is some spring, almost like a hybrid would sound, you know, when you get that little clippy kind of sound. Let's give the five iron a go. So when I go up to the five iron, you do get a slightly longer blade length. You don't see any of the club out the back, which will appeal to lots of people. And again, it's minimal offset. Let's give it a hit. So you've still got that cutaway sole and you've still got the funky face. Okay, it's a nice sound as well. It's a slightly bigger sound off the five iron, I'm thinking to that seven. I'm not sure if that's just me or the club. Look, I'm thinking this is a good club. Definitely on that, I want friendliness, but I don't want it to look chunky and ugly. Um, I think Mizuno done quite well with this one. I, I mean, every manufacturer seems to have a hundred sets out at the minute, and Mizuno seems to have quite a few sets of irons. It's hard to keep up. Oh, that's felt really nice and that's no problem getting up in the air. It'd be interesting to see what the numbers come out like. Um, I could use these. I don't think they would tear me away from the ones I've already got, but I think if you want this kind of helpful set with less offset and some chromey finishes, there, this one's going to do that for you. It's the 9 iron. This feels really easy. It's a big old head down by the ball as well, which I think will definitely inspire a lot of confidence for people. I'm not so fussed with turf interaction and soles, to be honest. I think lots of people read into that too much, but I understand why Mizuno do it. You know, they've got their performance line, which is really looking at sole development and how the club interacts with the turf, la -di -da -di -da, those kind of things. Let's check the numbers out. Let's see what the numbers come out like. I like it. I like it. I I mean, is there anything new in the golf world anymore? I'm not sure anything's particularly new. Um, I don't feel like this club has particularly changed massively from, as the numbers show me otherwise, maybe pre-JPX irons. It's the seven iron again, but I'm pretty sure Mizuno would say they haven't particularly. I mean, they're going to go on about their face, the suspended-y kind of face. And 
I'm feeling that. Let's check the numbers out and see if we're seeing that in any of the data. Right guys, numbers time, JPX 850 irons. Now for me, if you look at the distance, 158 on the seven iron, uh, 181 on the five iron, 137 on the nine iron. Anyone who watches many of my videos, that's pretty much where those clubs sit for distance. So I wouldn't say it's any particularly longer. Uh, dropping down to 155 with the seven iron, peaking out at 161. So there's a slight miss hit there, which you would argue is performing within six yards of a decent hit to miss it, which is kind of what these clubs are trying to do. I think lots of the manufacturers really have realized from maybe real people like myself, who are telling you that clubs are kind of going a distance now, they're kind of maxing out. So they're now trying to move it more to those miss hits, aren't they? And that's what this club's all about. For me, the numbers are good, the spin numbers are where you want them, the peak heights are fine, uh, ball speeds and distances are all good and nothing shocking. And anyone who watches my videos again, I've, I don't think you've seen any shocking distances really, maybe in the last five years, that's because it's all controlled by the RNA, there won't be any. Um, and anyone saying there is, is kind of getting it slightly wrong. Um, for me, it's this iron's really quite good looking for the style of iron it is. So for a game improvement, for want of a better word, for an iron that's helping you across the face, that has some thickness to it, that little lack of offset and that kind of classic chrome looks, it's a really good crossing over, good looking iron with a lot, a lot of help. I would argue this has as much help as anything else on, out there in the market. Um, and a definite one for you guys to go and try if you're looking for a club that's going to try and help you. Look, we all miss hit. I promise you, I miss hit it, you miss hit it. When I use my GC2 HMT and show people their strike patterns, they're always amazed where they're hitting it. Those miss hits can really affect dispersion, certainly short and long. Any club that's helping you with that, which JPX 850 definitely does, is only a positive. Thanks for watching, guys. Post comments down below. Love to hear what you've got to say. JPX 850 from Mizuno. Going to try it, not going to try it. Too chunky. You like the combination of uh, Game Improvement Plus, those not the chunkiest irons in the world look? Let me know. Post comments. Speak to you soon. So if you like what's going on here, don't be afraid to subscribe to the channel. Also, thumbs up the video. Post comments. Love to hear what you guys got to say. Let's keep it social. The more we talk, the more we share, the easier this game will get for, uh, for everybody. So if you want to find me on Facebook here, you can find me on Facebook. If you want to tweet me, find me on Twitter here as well. Just follow the links all in the description. Come and join the show. Get active, get involved, get playing some better golf. Thanks for watching. All right, guys, Mark Crossfield here in my hands today. Mizuno JPX 850 irons. We're going to give these irons a hit. They've got these funny cutaway soles. We've got um, frame faces or something. The faces are springy and dooby dooby doo. All these clubs nowadays are just, uh, they're going for it, aren't they? Let's give the JPX 850 from Mizuno a hit and see if it's any good. Let's get stuck in. Right guys, Mizuno JPX 850, we get a chrome looking head, we get this uh, relieved sole, dual relief sole I think they're calling it, where you get this kind of cutaway bit at the back, um, which for people who are thinking of turf interaction, how chunky the soles of some of these more game improvement clubs get, that's going to help them and their ideas. Um, it's a cavity back dime with an undercut cavity, it's got a speed frame face or frame face, it's basically the face is the face is built to bounce and uh, kind of rebound a little bit more across the face, Mizuno is saying. So there's lots of talk of that with other manufacturers at the minute. So everyone's going for the, 